Hello friends, this is Ed Bowman. It's great to be with you again. I want to talk today about eating for health and recovery from cancer and preventing recurrence of cancer for people who've had that unfortunate situation arise. I'm the director of Bowman College Holistic Nutrition and Culinary Arts. I'm also the director of Bowman Clinic, so I work with people who have cancer or families of people who are dealing with cancer. So what is cancer anyway? It's a genetic expression. So we have trillions of cells in our body, each of which has a design, each of which has a plan, each of it has form and function. When cancer cells get created, there's some kind of mutation or aberration. So what we're looking at is people having some kind of loss of function of these cells. So they express themselves as cancer. Fortunately, 95, 98% of the time, the cells die. This is a process called apoptosis. Remember that word, A-P-O-P-T-O-S-I-S. -P -P so what I want to suggest is how we can facilitate apoptosis or gentle, peaceful cell death for aberrant cells. Funny thing, cancer cells don't like eating for health. They go, oh, I hate this fresh food. So what is eating for health? We're looking at having colorful fruits and vegetables. These have phytonutrients that are protective. When we have junk food, we have refined sugars. Cancer is an obligate sugar feeder. What does that mean? It requires refined sugar. A cancer cell is anaerobic. It exists in an environment with low oxygen. A healthy cell is aerobic. It works out. It goes on bike rides. It has high circulation. It loves oxygen. So by eating fresh, healthy food, here's our yellow food, Here's our red food, very powerful red pigmented fruits and vegetables. How about some blueberries for blue food? So clearly we're looking at a rainbow diet that is plant-based, that is protective. But the color that's the most powerful cancer protector and healer of cancer cells, very few people say a cancer cell can become a productive functioning cell. It's like we have to kill that cell. We have to get rid of it. We have to cut it. We have to burn it. We have to freeze it. We have to keep it down with chemical therapies. Well, in some cases we do. And if that is the case, I work with people to protect the rest of their body, to get through their chemo and their treatment, and live healthfully ever after. But the key color is green. It's chlorophyll. And there are dozens of chlorophyll-rich foods. This is a mix of baby spinach and parsley that we chopped up for our quinoa salad. Chlorophyll has been found by many people to be rich in magnesium, to be rich in B vitamins, particularly folic acid, and to have a purifying effect and to enhance the quality of the blood. Chlorophyll also supports perfect liver function and immune function. So my question is, how green is your diet? And are you having green food at every meal? So if you're looking at preventing cancer, or you're looking at getting through chemotherapy, you want to have green foods. I'm not talking about dietary supplements now. I'm just talking about having spirulina or chlorella in a shake in the morning, having a big leafy green salad for lunch, having herbs and spices in your dinner food, perhaps having a smoothie in the afternoon that's rich in greens. One can make a vegetable smoothie. A vegetable smoothie, not a fruit smoothie, is very powerful, where we have fresh beets and fresh carrots and fresh celery and fresh parsley and fresh herbs like turmeric, turmeric and ginger and garlic are powerful cancer fighters, cell protectors. And when we add the element of lemon and lemon peel, the lemon peel 
is another powerful antimicrobial, antiviral, immune protector and upregulator. So I want to encourage you to not look at cancer as, oh my gosh, it's the end of my life, but cancer as a wake-up call. Cancer as an opportunity to get on an Eating for Health program, to get on a pure, fresh, organic Eating for Health diet, to work with a clinical nutrition expert and a natural chef, to bring all of this information and these foods to make fabulous, wonderful, delicious meals. And don't forget flax seeds. Flax seeds is, again, a super hormone regulator, great fiber, adds with elimination, and it's an anti-inflammatory. The whole Eating for Health program creates an alkaline reserve in the body that's been depleted that allowed cancer to happen. So people, when they start getting on this program and they start drinking green tea and herb tea and pure water, they feel great. I've had cancer people go through chemo and not lose their hair and not get nauseous and not get sick and to have a higher success with their chemo, a quicker success. And this has been measured in clinical studies. So thank you for listening. I wish you well in your life and eat a lemon a day.